Hi folks, Todd here, and I'm in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm actually at the uh, Inside Pitch Toy Show. And uh, we're going to check out and see what they have. This is my last show for 2023. And we're going to check out, they also have like uh, sports cards, they have comic books, all kinds of collectibles. But I'm, I'm mainly here for the toys. So let's go. And this is sort of my Christmas edition of this show because it's a great show. A lot of vendors, a lot of toys, a lot to choose from. I'm going to go through just about everything. See if I can find anything really cool, which I'm sure I will. And uh, we got a snack bar here. So if you need any food. And this is the Star Wars store. He's got tons of vintage stuff. So we'll go through his. And I think this is Jeff's uh, booth here. Jeff's uh, collectibles. And uh, I used to go through his toys and check out the boxes on the bottom too. So be sure you check those out too. Look at all these plushies. That's pretty crazy. I just got puppets too. Check him out. But you got Minnie, Mickey. So you got a little bit of everything. Plushies right here on, on these shelves. And of course, you're going to have uh, John Wayne. You got to have your John Wayne. I always love the. Uh, cap guns here they're in great shape so they're they're ranging from 80 to 100 like this one's 125 but look the shape that's in that's exceptional you know, the smaller ones look at him he's 250 so he's up there but um, these are beautiful all these look wonderful we get the holsters for him too check that out and uh he's got these guys over here i think mark's made these as well these are great love those Got some of the old board games. Got Charlie's Angels. Got Annie Oakley. Do that. How do you do this TV game? I <laughs> love that. But, I mean, these are impressive. The guns right here, the cap guns. And he's got all kinds of great vintage stuff here. Dale Evans, little storybook. Lone Ranger. Got Johnny Cash. Oh, I like him. Bugs Bunny. Dolly Parton. Wow. And check this alien out for 150. <laughs> That's pretty wild. You get this Robin Hood playset right here. Very nice. And Mark's made a lot of these too. And uh, check out the Mickey's Dixie Band right here. Dixieland Band. Got some comic books. Vamprella magazines. Very nice vintage. And check out Pop and Fresh. The whole family right here. <laughs> Stay Puff right there, Pillsbury. Well, I'm sorry, not Stay Puff. <laughs> the Pillsbury Doughboy. And it's it like grandpa and the whole family. And I was looking at these little guys right here. Those are pretty cool. I thought about getting those. I love these little things like that. Little figures, little vampire. Get Witchy Poo there in the back of this ghost, the mummy. Yeah, look at these guys. And I'm looking at the big boy right there. He goes for 20. So I am thinking about him. And get the Snap, Crackle, and Pop right here. Look at these. These are beautiful. And that's pretty cool right there. Magic Chef. He's also got a wonderful collection of uh, die casts right here. Some of the old uh, trucks from Tonka. Just a little mixture of everything. And these are, of course, still part, real popular. The old Hess gasoline trucks and moving trucks. Oh, these are wonderful. Look at that old train. And the cow. <laughs> There's Robin Hood on his horse. That's really nice. Love that. And you also got the milk cow. A lot of people are getting those to their collection. Looking down here too, and I love that $6 million man. Evil Knievel. And uh, he just passed away not too long ago. A man from Uncle. A nice assortment of stuff. And look at that conductor hat. That's pretty cool right there. Oh, Hall of Justice. And I love these guys. Check that out right here. Yosemite Sam. Wow. All these guys. Jetsons, the Peanuts. Get some 3D stuff too. Elroy. <laughs> Look, <Little> Coyote. <laughs> That's cool. And look at Dudley Do Right right there. I kind of skipped over him, but he looks awesome. I love Dudley Do Right. Now that's pretty cool. Check out the Bugaloos. It looks like it's signed too. He's got some autographs on these. That's pretty cool. Got the Sid Money Crop, Wonder Bug. Got HR Puffin stuff. Yeah, they're autographed. And he just, the actor, 
Whitaker, he just turned 64 yesterday. You got Lidville. That is so cool. He's got a got him signed. Love the old tractors, the old die cast uh, vehicles here. He's got a great collection of tractors. He's got tons of Tonkin down here as well. And look at all these wonderful toys and figures all through these boxes. So be sure to sift through those. Get some really good deals going through this stuff. He's got a great table here. A lot of vintage figures. It's got a great setup. All the way down here, all the big box of dinosaurs. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's got all kinds of figures here. It's great. And right now I'm having a kick on uh, <laughs> Sergeant Rock comic books. I used to collect them as a kid. I'm restarting my collection slowly but surely to certain ones. But this booth here, he's got a ton of uh, Sergeant Rock dating back to the early 60s. Yeah, this is great. So I have to go through all these and uh, check out um, different titles. This one I just picked up right there. But he's got a great selection of them. And uh, they're anywhere from 50 all the way down to like five bucks. So it just really depends the collectability of it and the year it came out and what happened, the storyline, all that stuff. So and the artist, of course. So he's yeah, he's got a lot of sergeant locks. And good night. Look at this booth. Tons of vintage. I'm gonna definitely have to go through all this and see what they have. Yeah, he's got a little bit of everything. Wow. Look at all the look at that SWAT puzzle right there. From the 70s, six million dollar man puzzle for the Bionic Woman model set. Not sure if that is Bionic Woman still in the box. I think it is, yeah. It's her wrapped up in the box still. You got the six million dollar story records there. This. Wow, so much to go through and look at. Got a bunch of Lucy's as well. All kinds of tin and uh, toys. Look at all this along here. Trying to get along here too. Wow, look at that. Children's uh, little story uh, record there. I love that cover, it's beautiful. Nice. Shogun Warriors, Jigsaw Puzzle. Oh, look at these Savage Land figures here. The X-Men. That is so cool. My toy biz. Monster kit right here. The monster game. Creepy creatures. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Storybooks here from Disney. Oh, look at that witch. That is so cool. Nice. And of course, I, I've got this. I actually got two of those. <laughs> um, but look at all this. Some more toy biz stuff here. And look at this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and basketball hoop. That's pretty cool. My uh, BMI made that. Very nice. So these are by Aurora here. These model kits of the Universal Monsters. I got a lot of this still in the box. Nice. Man. I'm going to rack pink right there. Mother's Worry. My Ravel model kit. These are great. Oh, I love him. Weird O. Nice. It's like a little museum right here that you can you can buy and bring home with you. These are great. Oh, the model kits. Got a little bit of everything. Check out that Jupiter Jeep made out of tin. A lot of tin vehicles here. Oh, look at that. Love that ship. Oh, he's cool looking. These are mechanical robots, wind up robots here. Some are battery operated too, like this guy, Thunder Robot. And he's got this uh, Ewok here from the Ewok series. Nice. Trying to see what character that is. Gornesh. Nice. Man, he's got just tons of great vintage stuff here. And newer stuff as well. Fortress of Fangs playset. The official Dungeons and Dragons playset right there. More beautiful, awesome vintage toys here. Yeah, we got a lot of great booths here today. Look at these guys. They're drinking it up. <laughs> they got Pepsi Cola. 
That's neat. Pepsi Cola advertising on those bears. I got Planner's Pizza. Mr. Peanut right there. These are great. Look at this old guy. Old steam shovel. 120 for him. That's nice. Old Mad Magazine. Oh, I love these old soldiers. And he's got tons of the old uh, cap guns too and holsters. Cool, look at that. It's like something Barney Fife would drive. Right there, but look at all these. 300 for him. I love looking at these. Old Ford Big T right there. Kind of see through. And there he is, the box. It comes with the box. That's nice. Just kind of zoom up on these so you can see these vintage trucks and cars. Uh, be sure to also check the glass cases here too. They always got really cool collectibles in there too. Nice. It's got a little bit of everything right here. Oh, Micronaut spaceship. That's cool. And it looks like it's remote control. It's battery operated. That's nice. Never seen that before. Had to get a shot of this right here. This glass case with the Amiga, the vintage Planet of the Apes. Got some Beatles there too. And he almost, I'm not sure who that is. I want to say Colonel Tom Parker, but no, I'm not sure. If you know who that is, let me know. Is it Lennon B. Johnson? Not quite sure. I love these old uh, push up uh, toys right here. Those are great. Love those. Nice. Let me get the action figures here. That's cool. Oh, look at this uh, holster right here. Still get the bullets in. That's probably the hardest thing to find right there. Or the uh, the bullets for the uh, the set. And that is for two fifty five. Comes the belt buckle too. The Roy Rogers belt buckle. Let's get some old clickable Battlestar Galactic cards from the seventies. Uh, really nice. Oh, over here too. Let's get the uh, Grossville cards on the back where the Battlestar Galactica cards are. Nice. Those are getting real popular again. Oh, look at these guys. Got Fat Albert. That is so neat. All these little figures right here. Very nice. And he's got tons. Look at all this. Uh, vintage cars and trucks. Old Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Look at all these. Also got Dinky too. The old the Corgi and Dinky. I used to love the Corgis and the Dinky die casts. Oh, the Batmobile, I think. Yep. Batman on the back, $15 for him. You're in, into the Batman collectibles. Very nice. I'm just skimming over everything. Skimming. That's great. Look at the old Pan Am airplane. Nice. Yeah, Pan Am's not been around in a long time. And, oh wow. There you go. Right there. That's pretty cool from UFO. It says spaceship. So it must be a knockoff. Because that's from the UFO series right there. Wow, look at all this. Beautiful. The old Abrams tank and the old Sherman tank. So it's models there. And some of the uh, marks of figures here. He's got a lot of marks. He's got the World War II. Then he's got the old Western ones. Then he's got the Man from Uncle. Right there. Nice. All these wonderful marks play sets. Now, is that from Man, from Man from Uncle? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, let's see, it's Hunchback. <laughs> so it's got the Universal Monsters. Very nice. And you're gonna find your G.I. Joe classified figures, which I, I love these figures, they're great. Um, they're a great size, a great collectible, a lot to choose from, and they've done a great job. So they've got a little bit of everything at this booth. And of course, Transformers. Over here, some, some more vintage stuff over here. G.I. Joe. Yeah, I love me some G.I. Joe. Those are great. Yeah, I like those guys. Some up here, too. Some of the uh, box sets. A lot of, some reproduction ones, too. Oh, Lucy there. Maybe she's looking for a date. G.I. Joe. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> look at all this wonderful stuff. Look at that Bonanza right there. That's the uh, Michigan Rummy Game. <laughs> the Bonanza. And uh, I don't see any rum bottles. Is rummy, no, Rummy's not a drink for this. It's actually a card game. Sorry for my card game people out there <laughs> go ahead friend play the rummy all the time look at the marks over here too here's your accessories for your marks figures yeah, i love those too i used to have a bunch of them i have like three or four of them in my collection let's spin around here 
Transformers. A lot of Transformers. Look at that. So we're playing some of the uh, original music. Oh, these are great. A little bit of everything. Look at these guys from the Transformers. Those are highly collectible. The Beast here from Transformers that change. And he's got Thundercat. Come on, folks. Nice. And he's got the Tick. A whole bunch of Tick over here. I wish they were three for ten. <laughs> nice. There's Mean Gene. Right there. Russian Khrushchev. Amongst all these Transformers. Yeah, he's got a great selection here. He's got some fun stuff in here. Yeah, it's only a dollar per item in here. Look at the Shrek. That's neat. great for a kid. Got a lot of Ninja Turtles. Nice. Superman. Wow. Yeah. If they're here, you might find some cool toys for yourself or for your kids for Christmas. Yeah, that's fun. And check out Yak Face. He's 600 for him. That's without the blister that he's in. But uh, Yak Face, the original one. I think he was the last in the line for that uh, particular line of Star Wars figures back in the day. And you could only find Yak Face, from what I understand, in England or in Canada. You never saw him in the U.S. Nah, it's pretty cool there. For $25, you can get the Partridge Family game. That's neat. And uh, got other games here, too. Picnic Treasure Hunt. Little finished up here over the airplane. That's neat. Blue the aircraft carrier. Wow. That's an oldie. And that's a cool set right there at Adams Family. Animation figures right here. $30 each. Very cool. You also get the supernatural figures right over there. And they're $50 each. She's got three of them. And then the old Willow figures right there. I wanted to show you this right here. Check out these Hydro Racers. Rat Fink Hydro Racers. I just thought these are cool. They're all different ones. You've got three different types here. That is a nice set. There are 50 each. And you get some of the Rat Fink uh, cars here. Those are cool. Rat Rods. There you go. And those are, that one's 70, so I guess it really depends. So you get 70, 60, 50, and 25. Got more of the Rat Pink cars here as well. I love the Rat Pink stuff. Look at this over here. Oh, these are cool. She's got different figures here as well, Rat Pink. Doug Daddy, Drag Nut. Nice. I think I have found just a lot of Rat Pink related items. These are cool right here too. Look at these. I think it's the, the, the time I've seen the most Rat Pink collectibles uh, at a show. And of course you have your Matchbox and Hot Wheel dealers here and other brands of uh, this scale car, like Johnny Lightning, things like that. But uh, Hot Wheels, of course, is probably the most popular collectible as far as the scale goes. Yeah, a lot of different choices. You got a lot of great deals too. Look, three for five or two each. Very nice. Yeah, if I ever started collecting Hot Wheels, I'd probably go broke. That's pretty cool right there. The Centurion's Power Extreme. I'm guessing, yeah, it's a two-player, it's a two-to-four-player game right there for Parker Brothers. That's pretty neat. Got a couple other figures, the Centurions. Yeah, that's pretty cool right here. That's from the Spy Who Loved Me. The submersible uh, Lotus. Right here, here it is there. Lotus. Here you go. Shoots the missiles. Very cool. I think Dinky made that. Is that Dinky or Corgi? Corgi. Okay, Corgi made that one. And he is 38. And uh, that's actually, that's pretty neat. And then they also have the 18 van. And that's for 12. That's pretty cool. Love that. And there's his Austin Healy with the ejector seat from Corgi. And he is 28 for him. That's pretty cool. He's got the machine guns out front as well. That's pretty neat. That's from the 50s. It's a little plastic of Santa in the sleigh. There you go. And he is 22. This is Mike and Melanie. And uh, they always have a great selection of toys here. Boys and Toys is the name of their booth. So be sure to check them out at the toy shows. Great seeing you guys. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Oh, look, look, look at the dog. What's your dog's name? Wicket. That's perfect. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at this Disney skin play set right here. 
That is wild. I've never seen that before. They're hand painted Disney figures. Isn't that cool? Look at Mickey down there and Pluto, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan. All these different wonderful characters from Disney. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right there. You got some really cool vintage Star Wars toys like the uh, Boba Fett, Jabba the Hutt, the Land Speeder, the original box right there, too. And then you've got uh, the Cloud Car, that Super uh, Destroyer, the game, Yoda, so a little bit of everything he's got at this booth. And this is neat right here, too the uh, smaller scale Lord of the Rings figures, $5 each. Oh, I love this right here. The Noid. <laughs> That's awesome. Now to get a shot of this. It's the Wild Stallions touring band. Bill and Ted's uh, band right here. There's a uh, death that uh, follows them around. Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat right there. So in the new year, there's a new show. Some new owners. Uh, and their company is Tidewaters. And they're going to be in Rock Hill. At the American Legion, I'll have information in the description. And that's coming up in February. We'll be sure to hit that. It's right down the road from where I live. Not too far at all. So you're going to have over 150 tables set up. So we'll be sure to, to hit that. And Tidewater is going to be in different locations with toy shows in the area. And I did strictly vintage today. Got to show you what I got. It's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just a walk around. This is kind of, like I said, our Christmas edition. Uh, the last of the shows for 2023. It was a lot of fun. Let me show you what I got. Check these guys out. And I finally added a $6 million man back to the collection. I had him years ago, but I, and I had to I had to get him. I got him a really good price, too. So I was happy with that. And then I also picked up another vintage G.I. Joe. It's the uh, 1964 through mid-70s series when they originally came out. So I was happy to get him, too. Because I don't have the redhead version of him i need the blonde headed version of him too and then of course i picked up another pulsar which i love this character he had the disc too i'm gonna hopefully see him again to pick the disc up that goes with him and then i picked up this bozo the clown bendy i love it yeah i just love stuff like, like this and i'm trying to see what the year is i can't make it out i'm gonna say i have to look it up but i think he's like probably 80s or 70s it could be 70s could be even later than that, um, but I will have to look him up and see what year he came out. I'll post it <laughs> there. So, yeah, I'll post the year. Once I find out, I'll put it in the video. But, uh, yeah, this is my pickup today. Strictly vintage toys today, and I'm happy to get my $6 million man. I hope you enjoyed this uh, toy hunt, and uh, I don't do as much as I used to. It's basically I just go to the shows and just see what I can find and kind of let you see what I'm seeing at these tables with wonderful vintage and retro toys yeah we had a great uh, selection of toys today a lot of memories every time you come and see these toys it brings back just the nostalgia and you might want to pick up something just uh, something you may have had when you were a kid all right guys you take care we'll see you soon bye bye